Hey, everybody. Good morning. Happy Monday. I know that's an oxymoron to some of you, but happy Monday. Today, I want to ask you a question. What if you could? Stay tuned. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of 7 Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Well, I tell you what, I'm I'm clicking buttons with one hand, turning knobs and dials over here with the other. It is a challenge to one's manual dexterity, but that is the sacrifice I am willing to make for you guys. Thank you so much for being here this morning. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of biz, uh, not business ownership, of entrepreneurship. Ah. <sighs> See, that's going to be, I'm in the habit of saying that. I'm going to have to work to, uh, to change that. Look, when you get here, do me a favor. Leave a comment with your name, where you're watching from. Say hi. Ask how the chicken's doing back there. Whatever is appropriate for you. But, uh, let me know that you're here. I always enjoy that. And if you have any questions or comments as we roll through the day today, uh, be sure and let me know. And uh, just a quick, I'm not going to talk about it. I just want to know. How many Game of Thrones fans are watching this morning? Just show a hand. You can wave, say me, just whatever. Drop something in the comments there and let me know. Do what Joe and Jessica have already done. Join in the conversation. And to all of our friends watching on Instagram, thank you for being here as well. So um, I, I'm going to hit the quote of the day today, but then this week, all of this week, we're going to go on a little bit of a journey. And so I want you to be sure and, and set a reminder, set a timer, respond to the notification that Facebook sends you or YouTube sends you, and be here for the show this week. Because this week is it's a whole journey. you got to be here for the whole trip, right? So uh, be here, watch this. Some interesting things are going to happen for you by the end of the week. You just have to be here. And that kind of leads to our topic today, what if you could. Before we do that, I want to hit our quote. Today's quote comes from Michael Jordan, the great one. You must expect great things of yourself before you can do them. You must expect great things of yourself before you can do them. If you don't set the expectation, look, (coughs) this is, hang on. Got so excited about it, I got choked up. Have to have some more coffee. <clears throat> ah, that's better. All right, look, it's a it's simple math, right? If you don't expect great things from you, exactly where are they going to come from? Right? If you don't set that expectation, who's going to set it for you? So I really like this quote. This was the quote I planned on sharing today, anyway. Just worked out well. You must expect great things of yourself before you can do them. Now, I want you to think about those great things. What great things do you have on your, on your dream list? If you got a vision board, if it's just something you dream about, daydream about, talk about all the time, your friends tell you, well, you shut up about that already. What kind of great thing do you have out there that you would like to do? And then after you get to the end of this, oh, I'd love to go just, you know, Hang out on the, on the beach with my laptop and do blah, de, blah. And then at the end of that sentence, you tack on one little qualifier. But actually it's a conjunction. And in the English language, the word but is, is a conjunction that negates everything that comes before it. I would really love to go hang out on the beach with my laptop and run a business from there, but something, right? Here's what I want you to think about today. Every time you say the word but, or every time the word but runs through your mind, I want you to to rethink that statement and and say and tack on to the end of it, but what if I could? Now, that's that's kind of a magical phrase, 
And and here, so let's run the whole thing out. I really would love to go hang out at the beach with my laptop and run a business from there, but they probably don't have Wi-Fi. But what if I could? The, what that does for you, what that does for our mind and our brain is it opens us up. It removes all the constraints. But what if I could? Well, if I could, then I'd do this and this and this and this and this. Right. So often what happens is we, we design this dream. We come up with an outcome that we would like to create and then we immediately begin drawing constraints around it. Well, I'd love to have a, a, you know, so and so car. I'd love to live in so and so house. I would love to have no bills, but, and then we add on all the constraints. So instead of adding on all the constraints, Or even if you do, go ahead and tack them on there. It's fine. Just at the end of that, add one more thing. But what if I could? When we do that, it opens our mind to all of the possibilities that that could present themselves. All right. So here's my question that I have for you today. Um, I got the mouse on the right thing over here. Here's my question. What is your impossible dream? The thing that you really would like to do and no matter what you say, that but always shows up at the end. I would love it if you would leave those in the comments. I, I always enjoy reading what other people are trying to accomplish. Hello, Claudia. Thank you for being here. Um, uh, go ahead and leave that comment. What's your impossible dream? And then if you are bold enough, leave the constraint. Leave the obstacle there that is preventing you from achieving that. All right? So that's what I'm looking for in the comments, your impossible dream and the obstacle that you believe is preventing you from getting there. All right? Thank you so much for being here today. I, look, again, just a reminder, this is the first step in a journey that we're going to take all week. All right? So uh, be sure to be here every day this week, 7 a.m. Central Time, and uh, we're going to unpack this as we go. All right? Don't forget, in the comments, your impossible dream, what you think the constraint is. I'll be back again in the morning with another installment of 7 Minutes in the Morning. Until then, you guys have a magnificent Monday, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care. Oops, oops, oops. Wrong mouse again.